Alright everyone, Shikai Hawken here reporting for the battle. So today, I promise you that Friday will have a double upload because that is something that happened. Uh, well, actually I kind of forgot about making a video, right? So I'm sorry about that, okay? I hope you understand that, but I try to compensate it with a double upload today and well, that means not only I already uploaded the Forza videos, I also, I also going to be using this as well, since basically I already make one video for Chevy. Might also make it two now at this point. <laughs> anyway, so what you see here is a creation that I made for Chevy, and well, Chevy is a VTuber from Virtual Universe. Well, full name is Chevy Saku. And she is the zero generation from virtual universe, which is under the umbrella of Pro Orient Production. Yep, I just have to check that again. <laughs> so, yeah, she's a nice VTuber. She has a very good voice acting skill, which is caught me off guard from time to time when she pulled it off. I I couldn't even act. I I couldn't even speak when she pulled it off during the voice chat for the first time. Yeah, it, it was the first time last time we talked. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, and also she is make a very entertaining content. So please do check her out on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube by searching for Cherry Ch Channel. Cherry Ch Ch dot. It's kind of like that, it's spelled like that. I'm going to give you the link down in the description down below if you want to check her out. Uh, I do hope you do check her out because, well, I do enjoy her content. Let's just say that. I, well, not let's just say that. I keep using that word too much. But yeah, I do enjoy her content a lot. <laughs> uh, I'm still really nervous after that recording. Yeah, I'm not going to say anything about the race after what happened. There. And she probably took a hit about that, but hopefully she doesn't even mind to check about that. Anyway, so this bear, this big teddy bear right here, was created during a horror stream that she did a few weeks ago. Oh, well, it's just two weeks, right? Or one week ago? I kind of forgot, but it was. <laughs> I was- I'm not even watching, I'm just listening basically, because I'm also afraid about horror games. <laughs> but she screams a lot at that time, oh my god. <laughs> Some people actually love it, which is surprising. And that's the first revelation that I thought the American horror movie just acting about screaming everywhere, but apparently that's an actual scream. So, I guess that's realistic, like, she keeps screaming like in horror movie, like... <laughs> It's I, I'm sorry, but it's all honestly hilarious. But <laughs> I I end up making this particular teddy bear right here, the bear guy's son. Uh, somewhat a bear guy's son because there's some few parts that it's not actually a bear guy. I end up making this to try to you know give her some comfort after that entire horror thing. <laughs> so. I sent it to her, and that's the end of it. And yeah, about the design choice, it's really funny because I just add a Gatling for no good reason whatsoever. But yeah, let's talk about what I pick for this build. It's surprisingly really good though, I'm not going to lie. Like, it's really effective. So anyway, I changed the gun, finally, because the original gun that I picked for it, which is a rail gun, it's not really great. Like, it, it will make you stop whenever you try to shoot. So, let's see what I pick. So let's start with the inner frame. I use the balance frame to give it more survivability. And, of course, I put the range EX damage up and range weapon break power up to, because I'm mainly going to shoot people with this thing. So, that's not the only thing that I will do, obviously. So, for the melee, I'm thinking of, you know, you're a big fanboy and you want to protect someone, what do you pick? 
Well, I pick a triple beam saber here from the beginning 30. And it's surprisingly very good by the way in terms of DPS, which is surprising. So this looks like a like stick, so I just said, oh, you know, let's pick this up. And the yellow is actually f uh, fits really well with the entire pink color, and it's really offset the color a little bit, but that's fine. Like, it's it's kind of a weapon, you know, so it makes sense it's a, lot, a little different, you know? I picked that, and for the gun, I was originally using the rail gun from the Thunderbolt series. This is from the one Gundam that has some support lag. I forgot what it's called. Let me have a quick look here. Uh, where is it? Atlas Gundam, right. This thing, it was from here. Oh my god, that's really cursed. <laughs> but then I do some few trial run with this thing and it just doesn't work right. So I decided to change it with the Buster Rifle from the Endless World variant. I'm not sure which Wing Gundam that actually used this. But I planned it to make it look like uh, it's attached directly to the arm. So, you know, kind of the cool tech that I can get basically. So it, ha it still has some pink colors, yes, because that's just the body of the gun. But then some important part that is like the end of the barrel and the magazine. Yeah, I assume that's the magazine of some power reactor for the gun. I paint it with the normal gunmetal color, just because it's a usable part basically, you, or you basically you're going to use it. The head obviously from Bear Guy Sun, or Bear Guy Tree, and I have a few options for the skill like the Stuffing Spew and the Head Mega Particle Cannon. It's pretty straightforward, this is from Gundam Build Fighter. Yeah, it is from Gundam Build Fighter. First appearance right there around episode something. I kind of forgot. It's been a while. I really want to rewatch that. It's really fun to watch. Go watch Gundam Build Fighter, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> so it has a head mega particle cannon, and I obviously pick the head mega particle cannon because it actually should pink beam, which is surprising. I wasn't expecting that, but it should pink beam, which I will show you later. Hopefully, it's visible enough. Uh, the body is actually from Ark Guy. And while it is not exactly a bear guy, which you can see, bear guy actually has its own body, but they're too similar to begin with. They're pretty similar to begin with, so I'm just picking whichever the body that I wanted. Like I could even go with the smaller one from this side right here if I want, but the proportion would be really weird because at the end of the day, bear guy is bear guy, you know. Stuff like that. And the arm is obviously from Bear Guy Sun. I could pick the Bear Guy 3, but Bear Guy 3 doesn't have beam cannon on the arms. I mean, it looks like it has, but it doesn't. So I decided to go with the Bear Guy 3 because it has a few more options for offense. And I pick up the arm beam cannon because it's a range build. The beam saber is pretty okay, I guess, if you want to go for a melee build, but you know. But to keep that in mind. And the legs obviously from from the body here. It's one set so if you change the leg with something else like for example this it will remove the entire body so you cannot do anything much about it. And speaking of the body it has two skills because it has two parts. The body has the stuff fortified to prevent parts breaking apart from your unit and then you have high gear to increase the movement speed. But you have to buff skill on this thing. And for the backpack, obviously I'm picking up the cute one, the Bear Guy Sun backpack. So I could try to get the Bear Guy backpack, the original Bear Guy backpack from the beginning in G. But I don't, I, I don't have the 1 to 100 version, so this is a bit too small. <laughs> it's really cute though if I have this, I think. Who knows, but the, the ribbon is also pretty nice. Because it will make you tackle people with this thing. Yeah, that's like it, you can tackle with this thing if you really need to. And for the shield, I gave it the Gatling shield from Gov Custom from the Zero Eight MS team. Simply because this is the most pronounced looking thing for you know for protecting things while attacking. Because the best defense is offense. Of course, you have to attack. 
and it fits really well with the arm somehow so i just pick it up and of course i paint the body of the shield with pink color because she likes pink <laughs> oh man i love it i love it <laughs> it's actually it looks really cute all right like even though it's somewhat deadly with the gatling at, it, at least it will give you some cuteness before you're, you're dead and no build reports on this thing so yeah that's about it for the build and as for the naming i give it the name of the dream guardia with uh, v v u d s one because that's and uh, that naming it stands for the virtual universe defense system i'm just going to call that because i, I couldn't really think much but that the, that is the first thing that comes to my mind so of course i'm going to use that so yeah, I guess that's pretty much that, so let's jump into a battle and see how this thing performs. <laughs> oh yes, looks really good to be honest. I'm not going to lie, this actually looks really good. Yeah, that big bear guy will, will try to protect and destroy the threat. So let's see how well it survived the first encounter, because the first encounter is really tough on this particular stage and I'm giving it the Gundam Seed soundtrack <laughs> not sure from which one but yeah as you can see both guns looks really nice as you can see there I hope the Bazooka doesn't come to me and perfect the first thing that comes to us is the Ark guy alright I need to stop here I have to protect myself here. Ow. I'm still to five. Yeah, the beam rifle. Um, I just want to actually do something better. Oh no. Ow. Ow. I might not do that here. Oh no! I did not, please! Oh, I don't want this thing to be destroyed! Help! <laughs> yeah, the first second is really tough! As always! <laughs> I died! Didn't forget to heal them! God damn it! But I promise you this thing is good! Which I will show you real quick after the first encounter. The first encounter is just terrible as always. It's just one of those things on this game problem, really. Like, look, it deals 2,000 damage. And it's not so good, so... Alright, let's do the Gatling. And then back. There we go. That's a lot of damage. Yep, the... It's so far so much better with that. Oh, come on, you aim for the... For the target? Are you serious? And it can spin like that. It's so good. <laughs> Ow. God damn it. There we go. Gatling. Ah, uh, it's missing everything. Well, it does kill. So, yeah, it's, it does itself pretty well. And it recharged the skill really fast by using the... Mega Particle Cannon from the Buster Rifle them. Yep, it's dead. Alright, let's unlock some more. Because this is really good. <laughs> I want to unlock the... Ow. Are you serious? You're not running away. You're not running away with that. Alright, I unlock the Mega Particle Cannon there. And as you can see right here, I'm going to use it, and it will be in pink color. As you can see there, it's pink. But you have to see, but you can see it, right? I hope. But I can be charged it again if I want. Not by hitting the dead people. Alright, out of partner, out of stuff. I'm going to use the Mega Partner Cannon again. There we go. Kind of hard to see, to be honest, but it, I, it's big. Die! Nope. Not that. I don't like booster. 
Yeah, as you can see, they have, they have, they have the color them. Ah, uh, they have fun pushing on me again. That's just that. It's always nice to have this. And the back though, just to be sure. Let's activate the heal. So yeah, it can heal yourself, you know, which is really nice. It's always nice to have heal. Yeah, it's a bunch of beam everywhere with this thing. <laughs> I love it actually. I, lo I actually enjoy using this one. It's one of the, the non-serious builds that I actually like. Because it actually do really well. As you can see there, the, beam, the pink pink color right there. It's so beautiful. <laughs> Ow. Let's just have 45. And then just the tackle again. The skill, you can spam with this thing. Like, you can spam with all the skills you want with this thing. Did he die? Nice. Get some heals here, real quick, because I don't have any natural healing skills. Like, I'm not even paying attention to the mission right now. I'm just going to have fun. All right, let's not go, not go, not go ever. The Gatling and then tackle. It's bad. <laughs> it's strong. <laughs> this thing is really strong. Like for a non-serious build, every time in this game, for some reason. Every single non serious build always end up really strong. Which is really nice. The Gatling. Oh, it kills it. Nice. Let's hit it. Why am I going? Let's just take a part of the cannon as well. It cannot do. Surprisingly. Ow. Ow. Ow! Ow! Oh yeah, that reach! <laughs> oh yes, that just reach! Let's level up, level up some more here. Oh, yeah. Of course it's miss. Of course it's miss when I want it to be hit. Any things, you know? That's just the Gatling. Ow, I lost my half. That's not good. I have a good tool to hand, you know? I wish someone give me the hand, you know? Get back ow, 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 ow. Oh my, that will activate my... Oh no, oh no. What are you doing? Oh, what are you doing? Oh yeah, just climb to me right there. There we go. Um, I'm going to use high gear. Boosting me up. And then ram to it. And then use the Gatling. It's so good, like, the cooldown on the skill is just so quick with this weapon. Because it builds up really nicely. I don't have enough what right now, so I'm going to use the Gatling. Get back here, please. I just run away. Oh, come on! That's a miss. Alright, now I'm out of skill. I need to do something about it. Play this again. Go a bit closer because I'm not enough skill here. Like it spins really nicely, it's really acrobatic as well, which is hilarious. And you can just skip spamming your skill, which is really nice. Die! Oh no, you're not dead yet. Now you're dead. It deals 2000 damage on level 6. <laughs> it's seriously good. Oh come on now. How far should you die? The Gatling. I don't know if you can use that. 
This again. Give me arm, please. Get off. I'm using my arms quite a lot with this team for some reason. What's up with the barrel because of the arm? Ow. I got hit. I got hit again. Come on, I can use that up, please. Activate the skill. I almost died there. Just in time. Just in time for that. Touch is this. Oh, yes. I didn't do much. <laughs> oh, well. And then do it again. <laughs> it's spammable. It's ridiculously good. Skill is spammable. You just spam it everywhere. And you'll be fine. It's so good. And use this again. Oh, I died. I finally died there. <laughs> because I'm standing still too much. But oh, holy shit, this thing is so good. But yeah, some changes is required, obviously. Alright, now I'm on level 7 now, I can use the arm beam gun. That. Oh yes, that is the beam. Beam. Particle cannon there. Well, it's pretty good. I, I, I can argue that was pretty But yeah, this thing is really strong. And of course, I bring the cutest unit around. <laughs> of course. Because why not? I bring Xion and. Chinatsu, just so it can fit really well with this thing, you know? <laughs> like, oh, come on now. Isn't this, isn't this thing just looks cute? Of course it is. Like, seriously, you, who would want to be protected by this thing, you know? Uh, but I don't get much because I'm just trying to shoot people. <laughs> this thing is doing a good job so I'm pretty sure it can protect you really nicely like seriously it's gonna be really nice <laughs> with this thing around you know so yeah I yeah uh, what, before I end this I'm hoping you go to Carrie's channel and just check uh, her channel YouTube and Twitter out and if you can find it by searching the word itself, I have the link down in the description below. And hopefully, you can enjoy it. As, you can enjoy her stream as much as I do. So, yeah, looking forward to that. Uh, yeah, I, 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 I it's re it's really hard to talk uh, today, isn't it? <laughs> oh yeah. I, I, it's, I'm so nervous right now. Oh, back everyone, Shikai Hawken here reporting for the end of the world. I mean, the video. Hope you guys enjoyed today's content. If you like it, feel free to activate that like button. If you want to see more of my content, you can put a mark on my head with that subscribe button. And lastly, any kind of support and feedback would be really appreciated. So, thanks for watching, and remember, I'm keeping my eyes on you. Keep on living, buddy.